Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're building the LAAT slash C in Minecraft. So this is the larger cousin to the LAAT gunship, which is one that we haven't done yet in one-to-one -one scale. Um, this one is in one-to-one. -one. We've done a LAAT I in two-to-one, but that was ages ago. And this one-to-one -one model is going to be remade for the uh, infantry version of it, and also the two-to-one's as well. So yeah, look forward to that. But today we're focusing on the one-to-one. -one LAATC, so this can carry the ATT. Um, again, this model is not the one that will be in the tutorial, it will be remade, both of these will be. Um, and it should be able to carry that basically. Um, and the ATOT as well, potentially. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, if you ever had that Lego set or have seen it with the uh, LAATC and the ATOT, that was like one of my favorites. So this is definitely uh, kind of coming off the inspiration of that, really. Yeah, in terms of overall detail, it's, it, it is really like a step down in size from the 2 to 1 model. If I just fly over there really quickly, um, keep in mind how large that one is. If we go over to the 2 to 1 model, it's all the way over here. And this is colossal. Um, there is a fair chance that this may end up being remade also before the tutorial. And when the tutorial for this does come out, that will be probably an insanity level or hard at the very least. Um, because it is... Yeah, it's massive. It's the largest Republic vehicle we have so far in the 2 to 1 series, apart from the old Juggernaut, but that's, uh, again, another one that's due a remake. But anyway, uh, we're going to do this in a little bit of a different style. We're not going to do the layers as usual. We're actually going to do the entire main body first, and then we're going to do the wings and the engines as a separate build. And um, Well, not a separate build, a separate uh, kind of take. And uh, might be able to do the wings and the engines all at once and it will make this actually a lot shorter than it would be if I did layer one and two with with these wing tips and then layer three with the next layer up of the wing it just makes it easier um, and it's something I've done a couple of times before anyway but yeah all the features I, I guess it's got these big cannons on the front much like the uh, gunship model it's got these uh, I think they're cannons on the side they do look like it but let me know if I'm wrong about that and then these are the feet down here for where it would clamp onto the ATT. Obviously, these will be probably have to be re-angled when it comes to the uh, kind of modifications to carry the ATT, because at the minute they're literally just functioning as the landing gear, pretty much for this. But yeah, you can build this in the air or on the ground; it really doesn't matter. And I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get into the build. So on to the first section. Okay, so starting off, as usual, facing towards the green and purple crystals is going to be the front of the build. Obviously, you can do it whichever direction you want, but yeah, that's going to be the front for mine. We're going to start with these materials here. We're going to start with the head of the build, and we're going to do block of quartz, smooth quartz block, white wall of quartz, stairs, red nether brick wall, red nether brick stairs, grey concrete and grindstone, and then uh, a temporary block. We'll use that probably later on, um, but I thought I'd just leave it there anyway to show you what we're going to use, which is going to be block of gold for this, uh, for this build. I think... I don't ever use gold blocks um, apart from on one build, and that's uh, at some point in the future. So, yeah, this will be a temporary block for me. So, we're going to start out by doing, uh, in fact, we can use the temporary block. Do three temporary in a row, like so. And then a white wool, white wool, smooth quartz, smooth quartz, normal quartz, normal quartz, and then a quartz there facing towards the front, like that. Then take your grindstone, just put that on the front there and there, and then a grey concrete in between like so. Take two smooth quartz, and take your red nether brick wall, one, two, three, four, just like that. Take your red nether brick stairs, do an upside down one here, upside down one here, and also a normal one there, normal one there like that. In this gap here, we're just going to put another grey concrete there and there. Then on this next block back, we're just going to do three quartz stairs and three quartz stairs. And you can delete these temporary blocks if you like. Take your grey concrete again, one, two, and three. And then throw away the grindstone, get some end rods out. We're just going to do three on the front of the uh, grindstones. One, two, and three. Like that. And now you're going to need a andesite wall. Or sorry, diorite, not andesite. Ugh. Diorite wall on the front there. And we'll keep that here for now. Throw away the temporary block. And you're going to get yourself a polished blackstone wall as well. One, two, three. Then up by two. Up by two to make three in total. Also do two here, two here. And then two grey concrete in the middle. Like that. 
So you should get this so far. Take your white wool again. I'm going to put that just here. And then two quartz blocks. And then we're going to take white concrete now. There we go. And the white concrete's just going to go there and here. And we'll just copy that over real quick. One, two, and then the white wool. Should have this so far. You're going to grab yourself a white banner. That's going to go uh, just there and also here. And get yourself some black stone buttons. One there on that white wool and then one on that quartz. One there, one there. Take your quartz stairs again. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then with the grey concrete, just two here. Take a iron bar now. That's going to go on the very front. And then on this block here is just going to be another grey concrete like that with a polished black stone wall in between. And then iron bar there, iron bar there. Okay. Next up, get your uh, white concrete again. We're just going to do one here. And then a... I think it's a stair yeah upside down polished blackstone stair just there like that and then you want to do uh, just any any white blocks here it doesn't really matter they'll get covered up pretty much we're just gonna do two of those make it one sorry just one and then we're gonna take our cyan concrete one two and three then take your direct walls one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. And we're almost there to the top of the head already. That's uh, one of the main sections. So yeah, this uh, this can go quite quickly. Do a black stone slab there. Polished. We always use polished. I mentioned this before. But um, I always use polished black stone. And very rarely do I use any of the others. The only other one I'd use, I think, is the um, black stone bricks, I think it is. And that's uh, mostly in the TIE Fighter panel designs, so... But I'll let you know if I ever do. Uh, this is going to be a Prismarine wall. I think that's the first time we may have used that, unless we did it on the droid gunship, I can't remember. But yeah, Prismarine wall there. And then you're going to get your black stained glass. And do two. And we can add a cockpit to this, but I'll do that shortly. And you're just going to do another two cyan concrete there, and another two... Prismarine walls there and there. And finally, just get yourself a Prismarine brick slab. Do two. And then another polished blackstone slab. Now, if you want to add a cockpit to this, just knock out this cyan here. Put in the rail. You would have to add a block underneath first, actually, to be honest. So do a block of quartz or something. Doesn't really matter minecart and then a uh, yeah rail and then a minecart and then just grab a black banner and put that there and there so you should get that so far now just to finish off for the head we'll uh, I guess make the framework of the start of the neck just do a any white block quartz is fine and then just a quartz there facing backwards and then a diorite wall there diorite wall there and once you've done that, I think that's everything for the head. That's literally <laughs> as easy as it can be. So, um, so yeah, that's always good. So I'm just going to take a quick jump cut, move my uh, reference model around, and then we'll be back with the neck. So onto that. Right, so the next section is going to be the neck of the ship. So we're going to keep the same materials, might as well. I've also added quartz slabs and iron trap door. We're going to start by doing a quartz slab just here, iron trap door. I'm going to do two blocks. And then two slabs and then another iron trap door. I believe that's right. I'm kind of doing a lot of this from memory, so yeah. <laughs> so that's the bottom of the neck. Um, and that's pretty much the entire neck, to be honest with you. In, in one to one, it really isn't that big. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something, I suppose. But yeah, let's carry on. So the next thing you need to do is just take a uh, selection of white blocks, same as before. I'm just going to quickly switch these around. It's bothering me. Basically, if we start this slab, you're going to go up by one, two, and three. And again, I, I can't stress enough how easy it is to just do this randomly because it really does not matter. The white blocks are just in any kind of pattern. I know down here we did it sort of specifically, but again, even these you can mix up a bit. So 
If you want it to look more aged, you can definitely add some bone blocks in here as well. Those are kind of like an off-white, sort of yellowish gray. So they can definitely make it look a little bit more aged and worn. So yeah, like I said, that's something you can do. I'm going to try and keep to a sort of semi-specific pattern, but again, it's, it's mostly going to be kind of random-ish. But I will say what I'm doing anyway. So we're going to do two uh, smooth quartz blocks there, and we'll do, say, two white wool. Actually, no, switch that one to a block of quartz. Uh, and then from there, we're going to do another two blocks, and then it's going to be one block, and then two blocks here, and then two blocks here. So you've got the stair here. We're then going to take uh, snow, and we're going to do one layer of that, just one, that's fine. And then a quartz slab, and then a stair. And then you're going to do snow here, and then a quartz slab, and then a stair. And then just leave it there for now, that's fine. And now to do some detail on the side, we're going to take our, uh, what was it, diorite walls. Do two, two back, and then three like that. And then we're going to do white wool, block of quartz, two white concrete on top, block of quartz there, white concrete there. Okay, and then here, do another white concrete, quartz stairs, and then, how many layers is that? I think three, yeah. Three layers of snow on that side, and we'll do the same on this side real quick. So it's uh, white concrete, quartz, white concrete, just making sure it's equal on both sides. Quartz, white wool. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, just need a copy of those walls as well before we forget, or before I forget anyway. One, two, three, and there was one there as well, wasn't there? Perfect. Grab the polished blackstone walls now. We're going to do... Actually, no, it's not polished blackstone walls. Right, we'll save that till after. Okay, so from there, grab yourself some uh, polished blackstone buttons. One, two, and three. Just there like that. And again on this side, one, two, and three. And then you throw those away. Grab your snow again. And just do one single layer across like that. Okay, and then you're now going to take your white blocks again. And... There's a tiny bit more of the neck to do. So if we just do two block of quartz there like that. And then we'll say a smooth quartz here and a white wall. And then two white concrete. And then just do a stair there and then snow. Oh, sorry, not snow, uh, slab. Obviously this, this is on the left side, so we'll do the uh, right side and then we'll do the middle afterwards. A bit, a bit different, we'll mix it up a bit. <laughs> So yeah, for the middle, again, you can just use any materials because this mostly gets covered up. So I'm just going to use a mix of white wool and uh, white concrete. And just take up to there and then do another quartz slab and a quartz there. So that takes you all the way to the top of the neck, basically. Now, what I will do is the side guns while we're here, so we don't forget those. No need to do them in a separate section. So do two polished blackstone there. Grab a iron bar. Do one there. Go down, right, right, so that's two to the right, three in total. Down, right, and then take the polished blackstone wall again, one and two. And then the dark oak fence gate is going to go just there. Okay. Take a polished blackstone block. Put that there in those gaps. And then two levers and flip those down. Same again on this side. I have to try and do it the opposite way around now. One, two, iron bar, one. And it was three in total there, wasn't it? Yep. Down. There. One. One, two. And then a dark oak fence gate. Finally, just grab another end rod. That's just going to go on the front of the fence gate there. And also there. And apart from that, I think that's everything for the guns. So it should take you up to uh, parallel with these iron bars and blackstone walls if you've done everything right so far. But yeah, that's, I mean, the head and the neck's pretty much done. So that's uh, pretty nice. So what we'll do now is just take another quick jump cut and then I'm going to move on to the back of the body. So let's get on to that. 
Right, so for the next section, that's going to be the rest of the body on the back half, um, excluding the the head. We may start the, the kind of landing gear feet on the side, but yeah, I don't know if we'll do the full thing. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> so obviously we got as far as just one block past these uh, black stone walls. So this is basically where the body just flattens out, really. I'm going to start with, um, again, it's just a random selection of materials, so it really is up to you how you want to do it. I am going to just give you a rough, uh, rough guide here. So I guess if we start with a white wool and then a normal quartz block, white wool, smooth quartz, uh, white wool again, two smooth quartz and a white concrete. Underneath the white concrete, put a uh, block of quartz and then a white wool in the middle of the build and then block of quartz again and then we're just going to copy this to the other side so we don't uh, end up with too much to mirror over. And there we go. Now take quartz stairs, do three and then one there, one there. Now the the back cannon is somewhere, I don't know exactly where it is, I think it's on this block here. So if you want to knock that block out and put a chiseled stone brick and then take a grindstone, put that there. And I'm going to take N-Rod and just do, I think it's two, we'll come back to this in a minute, but I think it's two or three. I can't remember how many. So we'll do two, two for now and leave it just there. Um, I could check it's only... In fact, yeah, it's just there. I'm going to fly over to the other build one second. I don't ever do this anymore, but... There we go. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Two blocks. Back to the build. <laughs> so, yeah, two, uh, two end rods there, and then a polished blackstone stairs here in the middle. Next section, start at the back. Do a block of quartz, white concrete, quartz, white concrete, uh, smooth quartz, quartz, and then... Uh, two more smooth quartz to make it three in total. Again, same on this side. One, uh, two smooth quartz, two, four blocks there. Perfect. Next layer up. Uh, if we go to go to you, this one on my reference model is mostly white concrete, so I'm just going to do the exact same. Take it to uh, to there, so kind of in line with this diagonal. Put a white wool quartz stairs, quartz stairs, polished blackstone in the middle. Same again here. There you go. And then on the final one, it's going to be three quartz stairs along the top. Uh, white wool there and there. Smooth quartz, one and two. White wool, one and two. Uh, normal quartz, one and two. White concrete. And then smooth quartz. Now this can just be filled in with uh, a white block as well. So just block of quartz and smooth quartz, something like that. Obviously, like I said, I won't be able to do the, uh, the the kind of... I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. It's something on top here. Um, but I'll do that in a separate section. I'm going to take polished blackstone. Obviously, we've got this big gap underneath. Uh, grab yourself stone as well. Now, I'm going to take the stone and I'm going to do... Uh, one, two... Actually, just take it all the way across. Yeah, that's fine. All the way to... There. Now, there. Then grab Iron Trap Door. And we're going to do one just... Uh, where is it? I think it's one, two, three, four. There. It's kind of in the middle-ish. Yeah, it is in the middle. There we go. So four, and then take a Dark Oak Trap Door. Do two and two. Then a Chiseled Stone Brick. One, two. Skip three. One, two. So the uh, Trap Door should be in the middle of them. And then take polished blackstone slabs. And we're going to do two here, two here. One there, one there. Then a full polished blackstone block in these gaps, like that. We're going to take our polished blackstone stairs. One, two, three, four. So those are facing outwards. And then take a lever. There, there, flip it down on either side. There, there, flip it down on either side. And then do another upside down stairs facing outwards, just like that. Yeah, we're doing the feet. Uh, I can make it work. Take a temporary block. I'm just going to use white concrete for now. It doesn't really matter. Do three on the next layer down. 
and polished black stone stairs facing outwards. And then another chiseled stone brick at a diagonal downwards like that. And then a polished black stone slab there and there. And then delete these temporary blocks. Grab your levers again. And we're going to do one there and one there. Now we'll just do this on the other side real quick. One, two, three. Stair here, stair here. Diagonal again. One there, one there. And then the slabs here and here. Okay. So grab yourself a stone block again and a polished andesite. We're going to put a polished andesite just here under this block like that. And there as well. Also need a anvil that's going to go there. Join those two up. Perfect. Take the stone block. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Throw those two away now. And take a stone brick wall. And that surrounds the uh, the stone that we just did. Like that. Okay. Now you're going to take a light grey banner. Now if you're building this off the ground. So uh, flying in the air. Obviously the banners are going to hang down a bit further than the blocks. If I was building on a normal ground layer that wasn't transparent. You wouldn't be able to see the bottom of these banners anyway. If I show you on the uh, the main model. Let me show you how that looks. So yeah, if you're if you're building in the air, obviously those will stick stick down. Uh, in which case, I would just suggest replacing them with perhaps a birch sign or something like that, something similar, and that would uh, make it look a little bit a little bit better. And there we go. Just do it on both feet. Okay, so now we have this, which is basically everything except the engines and the head. So what we're going to do next is uh, finish off the the head of the build. I'm just checking I've done everything. No, I didn't. I didn't do these. So yeah, let's do the the head of this, and then we'll do the engines and then the wings. So uh, let's move on to that. Right, so for the head of the build, we're going to take our same materials as before, really. Um, yeah, you might as well keep these ones. We'll add the other ones as we go. Take your white concrete to start with. I'm going to do one here, one here. And then two upside down quartz stairs. Facing outwards. And then you can take a quartz slabs, just normal, not smooth. That goes there. Take white concrete again, two on the outside, two on the outside. And then a stair facing outwards, stair facing outwards. And then just in the center, white concrete, and then three quartz slabs. Okay, you're going to take a polished black stone slab now. Two of those here, two of those here. And then a wither skeleton skull that's going to just go there and there, just flat on the ground. Just like that. White concrete, two and two. Stair there facing backwards, well, forwards technically, I guess. And also one here. And in this gap, I'm going to do a block of quartz, one, two. And then on this final one, it's going to be upside down quartz stairs. In this gap here, two white wool. And you can take your snow block now, or not snow block, but snow layer, I suppose. One and two layers, one and two, and then just one on the front. Should we get this so far? On the very top of the build, one, two, three, four single layers of snow. And then one and two layers of snow there. White carpet, one and two. Throw those away. Get yourself a iron bar. That's going to go there and there. And then finally for this uh, outside section. What's that even mean? Outside section? No. Not outside. This top section. I don't know why I said that. Two birch trap doors there. Two here. I just have them facing um, facing downwards. And then a white banner. One there. And one there. That is the uh, head on top done as well. So the final things we need to do are just the engines and the wings. Hopefully um, they are as easy as I made them sound, but we'll uh, we'll see, won't we? Let's go on to that. Right, so to make the uh, engines and the wing supports, we're going to put another polished blackstone wall here. And we're going to take our polished andesite stairs now, grab those. I'm going to do one, two, obviously flip that one around, three and four. 
That didn't connect to my main model, but I guess it... Oh, yeah, it'll uh, flatten itself out in a minute. That's fine. And then we're going to take our white concrete, and we're going to do one, two, three, and four of those. And then a quartz stair facing outwards like that. Okay. We're then going to take our... Mm, this gets filled in anyway. Take a uh, blue... Sorry, not blue. Cyan concrete. And do one, two, three, four of those. And then from there, we need a... I'm trying to do it working uh, upside down here. Do another one, two, three, four, five of those. And then three in the middle. And then you can take a prismarine slab brick. There we go. And it's going to be one there and one there. And I'm going to take a iron trap door. Put that just here. Get rid of these for now because um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something else here. Take your quartz stairs and also your polished quartz stairs as well. well, not, well no, not polished. Quartz stairs and smooth quartz stairs. I always get the names wrong. Two, three, four of the uh, smooth ones. And then two normal quartz ones facing it. Do another two normal quartz here. And another one. And then just one, two to finish that off. So you should be left with a gap here like that. I'm going to take our white concrete, do two here. And just put it there as well. And then take the prismarine brick slabs, do two. And then two white concrete there. Two cyan concrete. And then you're going to do a quartz slab there and also there. Hmm, actually, no, that's a uh, that's a stair, I think, actually. Yeah, so do a uh, quartz there here and then a slab there. Okay. Now from there, we're going to... I've got some really weird angles here on my model, but that is basically the engine. Take the polished on side. We're just going to copy this over now. One, two... I can even manage it. One, two, uh, three, and four with the... Can't get the uh, black stone. There we go. And then it was smooth quartz stairs to there. And then we would do two here, but instead we're going to do the four uh, of those. And also the four that go there. And then it was on this side... Normal quartz stairs, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, uh, five. Doing it in a weird order, but yeah. I'd say this is probably the, the toughest part of the build, just in terms of actually building it from references, because wings, wings are just a pain to do. <laughs> and then we just do these. There. Two here, and a quartz stair and then a slab uh, we will replace the slab in a minute by the way uh, with something else um, it's just temporary because I haven't got that material yet I'm going to leave it for the wings basically and then a quartz slab there I think that's everything copied over the final thing we need to do is the actual uh, engine kind of back sections towards here they're not the best looking I'll be honest with you obviously with these engines being a 2x2 two two, there's only so many different combinations you can do for actually making it look good the way that i ended up having to do it was basically do it off to one side kind of like the engine was rotated in a way it doesn't look the best like i said but it it works for what it is take two uh, smooth quartz stairs and then two quartz slabs uh a another um, now take a smooth stone slab do two of those Prismarine brick slab and then a smooth stone slab there. And then two uh, there as well. Two here. One, two, three, and then that one goes there. So that's basically the main body and the uh, engines done and start the wings. Uh, I haven't copied that bit over actually. We'll do this real quick. That was five, three, one there, one there. Um, yeah, I'm probably, uh, eh. we could maybe do a tiny little bit more 
uh, before I do another jump cut. If we do two cyan, two cyan, fill that in. There's a trapdoor there as well, isn't there? Uh, I'll do this on both sides, obviously. Uh, so yeah, you get to there, uh, do another two, uh, three cyan concrete there like so. I'm trying to work in mirror, this is really not working out. One prismarine brick slab there, cyan concrete on either side. And then three top half um, prismarine brick slabs there as well. And I guess we'll leave it there for that for that bit. We'll uh, come back to that on the wings. And then we just copy that over to one. That goes there. And this is... There we go. That should be uh, mirrored exactly now. Um, so yeah, once we've done that, let's... Uh, now finally move on to the actual wings themselves so onto that right so starting off the wings there's just a couple of things we need to change from the previous section if we go to these uh, engines here you'll see just here there's a uh, kind of flat well a stair that corners off you know replace the one behind it with a uh, well actually it just fixed itself to be honest oh no there's a hole there yeah now replace it with white concrete so you get that we're also going to delete this slab here and this slab here and what we're going to do now is take our smooth quartz stairs, do one just there, and then a slab here. This is quartz. And then on the other side, this is on the back, take a diorite stairs. And we're going to put that just here facing backwards. And then this block here is going to be a top half quartz slab as well. So you should get this so far. Take an iron trap door, do two here, two here. And then we're gonna take our smooth stone slabs and do one, two, three, and four. And then on the back here, it's gonna be uh, one, two. Let me just check, I think it's, oh no, it's three, three of the smooth stone and then four of the quartz slabs. And then we're gonna take our smooth quartz stairs and just do a row of ones facing outwards. We will change this in a second now. You should get that. And then delete these two uh, here. And then replace them with uh, polished underside stairs. So you should get this so far. And then going back to the top side now. Uh, so if we take our same concrete, do two here. And then do one there as well. And then take your prismarine brick slab, one there, one there. Take the smooth stone slabs, do three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six white concrete, three uh, smooth stone slabs again. Then on this side, it's going to be a smooth stone slab here. And then take the uh, snow layers again and just do one and two. Do a stair there facing towards that block, white concrete here, and then an iron trap door is going to go there. Okay. Back to the uh, front side here. It's going to be a uh, smooth stone slab there. Two snow layers, and then that's fine. Next section is going to be a quartz slab, just there like that, and then white concrete one, two, and three, and then a smooth quartz stairs and a smooth stone slab then on the underside we're going to take our iron trap doors now and just do a row all the way across like that should have this so far okay from there take your uh, smooth stone slabs do two and then a quartz slab and then we're going to take a polished blackstone block. This is going to be the uh, missile pods underneath, uh, or at least the start of them anyway. That's just going to go there. And then just do another, uh, let me try and get it from a better angle, another two slabs. We're going to use a uh, smooth stone. There we go. On the top half of that, it's going to be snow, two layers all the way across. Okay. Next up, we're going to take our stairs and again do a row of smooth quartz stairs. We will replace a lot of them in a second, though. 
That's one there, two, three, four, five, six. Now, all being well, you should have an indent there. Uh, and the wing does sort of move inwards as we go along. So, yeah, just making sure. Take your uh, stone or andesite stairs. It really doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to do a stone stairs just here facing outwards. Replacing that block. And then also a... Uh, Mm. Do a polished blackstone slab uh, after that. We're going to put that just under here. That's going to go just there. Okay. And while we're here, we might as well do the rest of the uh, kind of missile pods, actually. Do two more polished blackstone and then a wither skeleton skull. Uh, one. Oh, God, what am I doing? One there. And I also did one here as well. And then do the uh, same on the back. Like that. Might as well get those out of the way. So yeah. Get the smooth stone again. And we're going to... I need to check where I'm up to actually. Yeah, so two smooth stone here. One uh, quartz. One smooth stone. And then two quartz. And then on the underside of that... Again, iron trap doors. We're going to do two here. And then just one on the back, like so. Next up, it's going to be uh, top half slabs. So we're going to do, let's see, uh, one, two quartz, and then one smooth stone on the back. Let me just check where we're up to. Hang on. Just do two smooth stone. And then on the top is going to be two snow layers, like that. And then next up, we're going to take our smooth quartz stairs. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to mirror this, this over instead of copying on screen. It's going to take way too long. And that's going to be six again, just like that. I'm going to replace these uh, two here and this one with stone. Like so. We are getting towards the end now, which is good. Uh, and then next is going to be slabs. So this is going to be uh, one quartz, skip one, one, uh, two quartz, and then skip one, one quartz. Stone slabs in between. And then trapdoors underneath. Getting into more of a rhythm now. That's good. <laughs> next up. Let's check in where we're up to. Uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be top half slabs this time. And we're going to do... Quartz, uh, stone, quartz, and two stone. And then take the snow block. And we're going to do two layers on top. And it should have indented again. So we should be down to five now. And then we're going to do our stairs again. We are almost at the end, don't worry. One there, these all face outwards. Grab the uh, diorite now. Diorite stair, I mean. And I'm going to do it on the second one here, facing outwards. Next up, <laughs> quartz slab, uh, smooth stone slab, and then three quartz slabs. On the underside of that is going to be the iron trap doors, five. Then it's just going to be five quartz slabs. Uh, five snow layers. And then the final section is just a load of uh, these prismarine brick slabs. Five of those. And also take cyan carpet. And fill that along. Now, once you've done that, we're going to flip that over. So if you skip back to the start of the wings... Do the exact same thing and just mirror that over and then we'll get on to the uh, kind of overall showcase of the build. So on to that, I'm going to flip that over. Right, so all being well, you should have this by now if you've copied everything over um, exactly. And yeah, it's, <laughs> that's it. That is the entire build. I mean, we're at like, what, 40 minutes, I think, something like that, which I think is pretty amazing um, for a large dropship like this. Obviously, a lot of it is hollow, I will give you that, um, but I think it's... 
yeah, I think this went really well, and I liked uh, trying out a different system than the uh, layering system. It worked, I think, a lot better. It would have been a lot longer. So, so yeah. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, obviously, there will be a two-to-one model of this at some point. I know that's probably the model you guys would prefer, but that is going to be a uh, insanity build, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Le again, let me know what you want to see next. Make sure to check out the Patreon. Make sure to check out the community page. Make sure to check out the Discord. I'm going to plug everything while I'm here. I'm on Planet Minecraft as well. Uh, I've got a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> so, yeah, go on it. And I'll see you, see you later. Goodbye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to all the current Patreon supporters who help make content such as what you just watched possible. Please check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's awesome rewards on offer for your contributions too. So thanks!